Start with a march. Here we go. Standing up nice and tall. Pump those arms just a bit more. Good. Arms back. Good coordination. <laughs> Good. Take it up. All right, we'll transition to a side step. Here we go. And we're gonna kick it back. Driving the elbows back. Get the heels up. Heels are still coming up. So now the elbows go back, shoulder height. Open up the chest. And the shoulder blades. Good. Couple more. All right. Let's shift the weight to the side. Really lean forward. Good. Pump those arms. Good. Other side. Good, bring your center, take it down, and up, down, and up, good. Give it those knees, over behind the toes, good. All right, good, let's come up on our tippy toes, half raise here, good. You can do this raise without touching the floor, that's fine, if not, no problem. All right, let's bring it down. Squat jumps begin in four, three, two, let's go. Very good. You got it. Up next, taking it to the floor. Push ups on our knees. I'll provide variations. Keep your palms below your shoulders, regardless of what position you start in. Let's go.
Very nice. Relax. So these cocoons are up next. So we know that's part of the micro, but it's like our little tease we're going into ab work today. Again, I'll have modifications. Use a combination of all of the options, whatever you need. Let's go. Very good, relax. Record your reps. Then we're going to battle rope simulation. So in this battle rope, try to still um, brace your core. Keep your belly as tight as you can. Don't forget that bend in your knee and get a full range of motion. Let's go. Very good. Good job. One more left in the micro before we dedicate the rest of the time to our abs. All right. So we're going down on the floor in our belly for hyperextensions. I'll show options. Use the variation or combination of moves that works best for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Very good. All right. Be careful coming to standing. Once you record your reps, we're gonna do a standing core move first. So on this one, actually for the remainder of the class, core staying tight the whole time. 
fingertips are lightly at the forehead. So we're tucking our hips, pelvis forward. So you see, watch my bottom, good. So remember, these are not good mornings. We're not doing this mode. That way we'll be working hamstrings here. We're concentrating on our core. Good, squeeze. Well, as you crunch, think about trying to get that chin down to the chest. Once your chin is there, you should have a nice squeeze in your abs. You got it. Squeeze the glutes. Tuck the pelvis forward. Good, relax. Good job. You got it. I promise. One more. Four. Three. Stick the butt out. Squeeze it. Let's go. So yes, we are using our bottom to help us with our abs. If you're not sure whether or not you're using those muscles, place one of your hands on your belly. Feel how tight your stomach is getting. Good. Squeeze. You can do it. Very good. Deep breath in. All right, so we're gonna do those oblique lifts. So we're using our arm here, bring it down this way, lifting our knee up at the same time. So we're targeting our obliques, okay? Core is tight, tiny bend in the supporting um, leg, toes spread in the supporting foot. Let's go. Straight line from your head down to your toe. Got it. Concentrate on that extension all the way over. Good. Trying to get that leg up as high as you can, maintaining good balance. So you really are trying to burn out this area here. Good, I see everybody's working hard, looking good. Nice. Good work, Diane. I don't see you, but I see your shadow. I see you working. <laughs> good job. Yes, good job. All right, here we go. Other side. Let's go. Nice work, everybody. It's not easy to get up and dedicate the time to yourself, but I'm proud of you. Showing up every day, even when you don't feel like it. Your body's gonna thank you for it. Not easy, but that's okay. We're working on it. Because it's difficult, we know we're making progress. Got it. Three, come on, two, yes, one. All right, looking good. All right. We're taking this one back old school, y'all. Let's take it to the floor. We're doing dead bug to star. Don't everyone thank me at once. <laughs> All right, I'll show modifications. Starting here, arms are going out, good. Now here, make sure that you're protecting your neck. So if you feel your option is to have your chin tucked to your chest, or you can keep your head and shoulders on the mat. If this move is way too much, just take it here and extend your legs just like this, okay? Otherwise, you can go to full extension. If you have pain or discomfort in your low back, I want you to tuck your hips toward the ceiling until your low back presses in the floor. You got it, come on, three seconds, two, and one. Nice work. Doing great. Let your back melt into the floor. 
Let's set it up. Second round is right now. Let's go. Challenge yourself to do it. Make sure you're breathing. Can't hold your breath. Option is here, don't forget. Three, two, one. Nice job, take a breath. All right, catch your breath. We're going to hands and knees for our hydrants. I'll show it from a couple angles, but you know, palms below our shoulders, flat back, leg is coming up. Good. So we're concentrating on core, and our hips here. So the key is making sure that you have a nice, stable support. If you want more challenge, you can extend the leg. That'll give you some more glute and hamstring work. So the work is in stabilizing your core, trying not to rotate too much. Good, relax. Nice. So of course we're gonna balance it out and get that other side. So try to have that supporting knee in line with that arm that's under your shoulder. A lot of times my knee wants to come center a little bit. And once I do that, I'm not in good form, okay? So check that placement. Again, if it's too easy or you want more of a challenge, extend that leg out to the side. We'll keep it here. Good. Flat back, no rounding in the shoulder blades. Good job. Catch your breath. We're going into our back. Again, make sure that you get that lower back flat on the mat. All right, so first what we're gonna do, legs are up, we're gonna reach and alternate and try to do a toe touch. If you can't quite reach, bend your knees just a little bit and touch as high as you can on your leg, okay? But if you're at an advantage like me, with long legs, long fingers, <laughs> long arms, and long feet, work for it. Otherwise, give yourself an advantage and bend those knees. Almost there. Good, legs are down, breathe. Take a moment. If you feel like you can get something between your back and the floor, you are not in good position. Tuck your hips up until you can get that low back flat on the floor. One more round, just like this. Then the legs. Good. Alternate that reach. If you're experiencing any type of um, distress in your neck, just keep your um, head on the mat, okay? Otherwise, you keep that chin tucked to your chest. Good. Going break. Use that bend if you need it. If your tap is at the knees, that's fine too. Three, two, and rest. Very nice. All right, catch your breath. We're staying on our back. We're gonna go into glute bridges. Head and shoulders are staying on the mat. 
heels are pushed um, back close as you can to your bottom. Come up until your glutes are tight and your thighs are tight. Once you get in position, we're gonna lift, good, and lower. Lift, and lower. Concentrate on that core being as tight as you can. Let your bottom drop down to the floor. Lift it back up. As soon as your bottom touches the floor, squeeze and lift. Coming all the way up for a tightening in your quads. That's the front of your thigh. Good. Drop it down and rest. You're doing great. All right, get ready. Walk those heels back towards your bottom. Palms on the floor and lift. Good, lift and lower. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, good, and one. Relax. All right. We're gonna be on our back for this one. I mean, um, sitting. We're gonna be doing Russian twists, okay? So I'll give you a couple of options. We need to really be careful with our um, lower back on these. I'll show you from the front. So we've got our knees up. And we are rotating here, okay? So let me show you a little bit from the angle. You're here. If you have the flexibility and the control, you wanna take it down, and touch your elbow, you can. If that is way too much, legs can be straight. You can rotate here, okay? Lean back just a tad. There we go. Core's tight, you got it. Three, two, and one. Very nice. We are moving along, you're doing great. Let's get this second set out of the way. Challenge yourself. Really get those abs nice and tight. Squeeze in hard as you can. Let's go. Don't forget the option if you need it. Legs outstretched. So if you go for this option, make sure that you're leaning back just a tad to get everything to engage. Ooh, relax. Oh gosh, good job. All right, here's a good thing. This is our last exercise, okay? So, um, it's gonna challenge us, but all of them challenge us, so that's okay. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with our hands and legs like we were gonna go into that dead butt, except we're gonna hold it out. Hold it. Now, if your lower back is not comfortable here, adjust your hips and just open your knees here as much as you can. Otherwise, extend your legs out. If you need relief, you can bring it in for a second and return. Good, drop it down. All right, so for this last one, instead of doing that same move, we're gonna tuck our hands below our bottom, and instead of holding our legs out in that feet, we're gonna hold our legs out straight and together. 
toes pointed. We're gonna have our legs about four or five inches off of the floor. Let's hold it. Your option here, shoulders and head on the mat or chin tucked to your chest. If it's way too easy and you want more, you can always put your arms overhead and hold it out here. Otherwise, hands below the bottom or beside the bottom of the spine. This is it. Belly's tight. There we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Drop it down. You did it. Very nice. Take a moment here just to breathe. Relax. You want to slow your breaths. Good. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on that torso twist just to uh, stretch out our obliques. So let's take our knees together and drop them down to the right. Take our right arm, relax it across our chest. Left arm is outstretched, relax on the floor. Make sure you let that top knee or top leg fall as it wants to. Good. Resist the urge to hold it up. Good. Take your time. Bring those knees back to neutral. Same with the hands. Now let's drop the knees to the left side. Left arm is on our chest. And this time the right arm is outstretched. Good job. Go ahead and bring that right arm to the side with our limbs. Use your elbow to give yourself a press up. Hands and knees. Palms below our shoulders. Arch our, our back up like we're doing a big cat stretch. Stretching across the back. Good. Let your belly sink. Your hips are going to curl up and your chin comes up. Good. One more time. Arch that back up high. Good. Let that belly drop. Good. Chain comes up. Good. We're going to take our right hand and our left leg. We're going to outstretch and just hold here just for a second. Just a moment of balance. Good. For three, two, one. Drop it down and switch. Good. Three, two, and one. We're going to come to our knees here. Let's just take our fingertips up the side of our head. We're lightly in the side. Now, unless you're having any pain, I'm just going to lean back just a tad until you start to feel a stretch in your, um, in your thighs. Come back to neutral. Lean back slightly. Good. Let's drop the arms to the side. Place our fingers. We're going to pull down to the floor. And chin go up. Maintain your balance. Good. And release. Now let's take our left leg. Bring that um, forward so that your foot is flat on the floor. Activity. Okay. Once we do that, arms up, lean back just a tad. Once you lean back a tad, you're going to feel a deeper stretch in that knee that's on the floor. Good. Release. Come up on your heel, that front leg. You come up on your heel, lean forward, going for hamstring stretch. So you see how my back is, um, um, Sloping, and I want you to do that. Try to keep a flat back. There you go. Just correct yourself. Good. Go ahead and release. Let's put that foot back in position. Nice. Lean back once more. Just a tad. Good. Bring it in. Front leg comes forward. Fingertips 
at your head, leaning back just a tad or arms above. Just getting one more stretch on that knee that's on the floor. And the thigh that's. All right, heel comes up. Balance, working on the back of the leg. Good. Bring your on the floor, minimize that rounding in the shoulder blades. Breathe into that stretch. For additional stretch, you can reach down, grab your toe, gently pull it towards you. Good. Now let's bring that foot flat on the floor. Use your hand if you need it, and the thigh, not on the knee or around the hip, to help yourself. With a little press to come up to stand. Good. Bring this arm across the front of your chest. Gentle pull towards you. Relax that shoulder. Then some stretching around the deltoids. Good. Elbow goes up and back. Good. Release. Other arm comes in front of your chest. Relax the shoulder. Good. Push the elbow up and back. Good. Now, deep breath in right here. Good, pull it out. Now on this one, take a deep breath in. When you get to the top, I want you to take your time, blow it out nice and slowly through a nice first slip. Here we go. All right, you did it. And by now, you know what heart means all done. Good job.